So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. How's it going, you guys? AZ Plow 21 back more? with more. See? Tell me How why. You stuck working reception. Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Nice to meet you. Oh. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be home? Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Mining kills salmon. Tyler. You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. <laughs> right. Apparently, Eddie's not in a great mood, so what we said outside goes double. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more disappear. It's a lot of missing people. We've already seen these pictures. Oh boy. Fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. Move on. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information. Oh, do I, can I not talk to her from the her name and date of birth? from behind like this? How's Delos treating you so far? Because of my Allison. She says you Happy to see Allison. Don't want to say this place is a shithole just yet. Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. Nice. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. So I pretend that I know what that is, but I'm not going to. JCE? You know. Juno Coalition for Equality? Oh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. All right. That's cool. Looks like we got a, a job in the future if we need it. What do you want? Oh, so where are you going? Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, welcome home. I'm going to be nice. I want to be nice. I don't want to be a dick to everybody. you two around We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh boy, <sighs> what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him his Miranda rights. So is there anything I can help you with? Mm, yeah, let me see that file, baby. How are you doing? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. 
<laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. Could you go through the full Aaron? details of your morning? You ready? Now, where was I in this report? Ah, right. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. <clears throat> breakfast and as we were eating I realized I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before Isabella asked to come with me so I helped her into her coat and morning chief brown bruh good morning Tyler hey could we talk to you in private it's a little urgent he is talking to somebody right now can you excuse me for a second dr. Torres what's going on you two we had a few more questions about our mother look now's not the best time well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Damn, he's not Guys, happy. I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Okay. He's an officer. He's busy, you know. This this happens. Why don't we go talk oh, to... I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Mr. Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her files? Ooh! Know, the archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait. You're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning? Stop your morning. I woke up at five. So, Tyler. Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Craig's he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me. People like me. Well, yeah, you know, people with differences. Natural authority. Ah. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Uh, and why not? We're short-handed right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. Oh, so are we really gonna go through a police archive? Wouldn't he be like, what the hell are you doing going upstairs? Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. Too suspicious. There must be another way up. Greg's mentioned something. Maybe we can check out that map of the building near reception. Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Alright. Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building. But it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? <laughs> a idea? Uh, not really. Not really. No. Right. Let's go. So what am I supposed to do exactly? Just break something? It's just one of those days. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I can pretend they're outside trying to break in. Uh, all right. There's gotta be other ones, right? Break a picture? No. Disgusting. That pile of paperwork? What about it? 
I could tip it over? Kind of messy, but sure. Uh, I feel like I can get in trouble for being like, yo, someone's breaking in. I feel like it would have to be something that like l like gets them away from that area and it looks like the paperwork might do it uh it'd be super j just turn the lights off Let's say someone's uh, trying to break in. Um, Gregs, I think someone's trying to climb over the station fence. Hmm. Must be the Herald kid again. Huh? Yeah, Jackson Herald's kid. He climbs over the fence because he doesn't, and I quote, feel like going round the block. Ah, right. Tyler. Well. <laughs> Paperwork getting knocked over, that's gonna do it. Just fucking kick it down. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. Alright, that did it. For her outside. All right. See you around. Later. <sighs> winter hair. Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Armory? Oh boy, no, 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 no. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. He was paying? The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Yeah, exactly. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. Uh, but hello? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. 
Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. What the hell? So he just said, yeah, you got rejected. Sorry, that's tough. Wow. Personnel files, apartment budgets, zero case files. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Okay, well, I'll take that. Hey, you. Should I take it? I mean... Probably realize it's gone, but okay. Oh, we are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. Hmm. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Flights to avoid prosecution. So he just left. Drug paraphernalia, possession, armed robbery. Guilty six months, Bureau of Prison, one year supervised release. Guilty, plead guilty. Huh. U.S. Army military sandwich artist. Oh, that was a long time ago. Supervised construction of sandwiches. North Pole High School. He might work. Are you sure you checked all the emails? Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R six eight six five three. Regarding your request this morning about the Ronin case, R6653, it hasn't been digitized yet, so you can find the paper originals in the archives for other references about the case. Transcripts of phone calls have been taken out, but you can find the digitized calls through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Hmm. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Uh, please remember your presence is required. November 11, 1300 hours. Implicit bias. This is not punishment. It has nothing to do with this dismissal of Randy Spears. We all can benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. Okay. Upcoming council meeting. Not sure. If you hit reply, I'll Sherlock. Manu Piston or Serial this morning. Personally, stuff said Culper to the washers. You can see how that works. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Oh yeah, there's a community social. He volunteered to help. Since he's the mayor's lawyer of everyone, and more importantly, let's put the Vecchies next to. Okay, archive is over here. police archive then how am i supposed to open the door i spent hours playing next to this room i see people go inside all the time the keypad does this little tune dum da di do seriously go on try Dum da di do. I don't think that's the right order. Dum da 
No. How did that tune go again? Dum -da -de -do. Okay, so. Dum da de do. Yes. Yo, we're in so much trouble right now. <laughs> it's not even funny. It's quite opposite of funny, actually. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Mm. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Yikes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Yep, this is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? <laughs> Plus, lookout, like, if they see you, we're if fucked anyways. Me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. R six eight six five three. Nope. Not this one either. Where's the damn box? No, that's not it. Nope. Are you finding anything? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. Here we go. Zero three. Notified by my partner, Officer Christian Holt, of accident at 12 Cannery Road. White female identifies Marianne Ronan, uh, falling over deck into lake. Audio recorded tape. Holt and I arrive at the scene. Brief by Patrol Officer Jay Chan. Located witnesses. Minors' names redacted. Ronan and minors' names redacted. Ronan. Children of Marianne Ronan couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. Children were taken under care of Patrol Officer Jay Chan Brown. Uh, coroner investigator T. Dickens arrived at scene, rolled prints of victim, crime lab, uh, at scene, completed photographs of scene, and recovered unlicensed Rassler 3121 shotgun, bullets recovered from location barn. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings. Uh, coroner took position of body, cleared scene, Brown interviewed children, stated that after blank Ronan's was cut short by sister... Marianne Ronan threatened Ronan with a gun. When Blank Ronan fled from her, she pursued child to the docks. Blank Ronan stabbed M.A. Ronan, who was still threatening the child before falling over into the water. Witnesses state they called 911 shortly after. Brown canvas crime scene did not recover a pair of scissors claimed by Ronan. Brown presented this case to D.A.B. Cruz, charged with homicide.
So what do I do now? Oh, here we go. Zero five. Okay. Not the autopsy. R six one eight eight nine. R six one eight eight nine. References zero five R sixty one eight eight nine. Port of homicide. Driver license number four lands potions. I police unemployed. Twelve Cannery Road. Del I don't like this music. It's very creepy. Um. On dock at late side. Victim threatened her child with a gun. Child stabbed with her pair of scissors. Vequ victim subsequently fell into lake. Reporting employees. Uh, e Brown. C Holtz. Involved persons. Ronan. White. Okay, Ronan. Combined evidence report, item quantity one, article shotgun. Samuel A. Kansky, it was Sam's gun. Brand Rassler, 3121, model 9mm, miscellaneous dark wood. Okay. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsman. He's not a writer, Tyler. Court order. Zero five R six three. Zero five R sixty three three twenty five. Okay, here it is. Well, that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Order for the temporary detention or placement in Superior Court for State of Alaska. A minor under eighteen years of age. Order for detention or placement, having found probable cause to support pending petition, or the minor having been determined delinquent or in violation of a probation conduct limit. Court finds by a preponderance of the evidence that detention or placement outside the home of a parent or guardian necessary to protect the, mi the minor or others. It is ordered that custody division of juvenile justice or detention in a locked or secure facility just, such as Fireweed Residential Center for Trouble Little Youth. DJJ has discretion to release the minor without further court order. Other orders, the above is supported by the oral findings entered order for detention or placement recommended on. I certify that on a copy of this order was sent to parent or guardian, Curtis Davis. Zero five zero one com references zero five zero one C O M E B R Here we go. 
Getting the juice. Getting the dirt. Loving it. Jesus. Unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne Child Services. What? Where are you? What's going on? Hmm. Hospital discharge. Zero five R six eight. Okay, I need to check out zero five R sixty eight MISC. So I was concussed, or Allison was concussed whenever the killing happened. Five theft report, child neglect report, two thousand five twenty. References two thousand five two zero one five four six. Okay, here it is. Wait, what the hell? Shoplifting. <clears throat> Ronan asked Vecchi if she had any organic mosquito incense. discovering Mr. Box detergent, and Becky states that she had very recently restocked the shelves. No one else had been in the store that morning. Becky stated she had suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. She also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Ooh. repeat myself you're a goddamn hypocrite I said move it H hey get off me rather spend the night here come on I said don't fucking touch me go on and consider yourselves lucky your family you're right family and for Allison's sake we should talk 
About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. You're right. We need to talk. Sheesh. Well, it's a good thing we chose to be somewhat nice. Otherwise, that probably wouldn't have gone as well, you know? He looks a little sad now, so. But the thing is, he seems nice. He paid for you to go to Fireweed, so. Was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed. Plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. She didn't even have a job. What was she doing? Even if locals had found time to help her. I'm not sure your mother would have accepted her. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. Mm-hmm. A snake pretending to care to be her friend just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? She loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. Hmm. She... She was probably know. just overwhelmed at the thought of losing her children, so she was just like, I'm gonna take them myself. Must have decided it was over. Mm-hmm. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. Eesh. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. What can he have done different, really? He's not like he could have... I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father? Well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. could get there with time he did what he had Most to do getting there but it's gonna take some time before we're a family big happy family i respect that it's hard work rebuilding trust it's kind of like you breaking into whatever you need it kind of like breaking into a police archive am i right oh no what's cute the ring that he bought that he bought he's gonna oh he's happy look at him 
A group? group? Uh, I don't know about that, uh, Chief. No. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. He said, oh, shit. Well, fuck you two then. Oh, that's cute. <sighs> now the receptionist is going to be like, what the fuck? You lied to me? I did. Sorry. Sorry, Chief. Oh, wrong way. Kids, be careful out there, yeah? Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. Got him. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. And with that, we are out of here. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. Well, what we found out a lot today. It? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. See, that's where it kind of sucks because everyone kind of cares you know like tessa cares and that's why she was like genuinely concerned about the kids because she knew that marianne was struggling you know officer brown cares because well he was doing his job you know he cares about the kids but he was just doing his job where is everybody tessa's gotta be around somewhere i think i'm hearing something well at least we know the entire world didn't vanish Given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. And with that, I think I'm gonna take a breather as well. I'm AZPlow21, thank you for watching. I will probably conclude Tell Me Why Chapter 2 with the next video. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one.